Welcome back to Star Wars Shovel War, my name's Luke and it's time once again to delve into the wonderful world of asset flips as we take a look at Pinball Frenzy, another title published and developed by Pixarts and I use the term developed in the loosest possible way as of course this is yet another asset flip and when this one releases on the 11th of February it will already be the 7th asset flip this year for Pixarts. Now they're also releasing the Word Chef game on the same day, another asset flip which has already been released this year by Digital Game Group only a couple of weeks ago, but this in fact marks the third time that the Word Chef asset has been released on the Switch, which let's be honest is a complete fucking joke. If you want to know more about this one though, you'll find my video on this linked in the description box below. Getting back to Pinball Frenzy though, if you're a fan of pinball games you might be considering picking this one up, but I highly recommend that you don't as it's an asset flip created using the Pinball Creator available on the Uni Asset Store for around 44 euros. Now this one is a complete pinball table creation system which can be used to develop your own pinball tables. It contains a bunch of different scripts and prefabs with an easy to use drag and drop approach to its toolkit meaning that anyone with an ounce of creativity and a pair of hands could likely throw something together in a couple of hours and if you take a look on the Nintendo Switch eShop you'll actually find a ton of different pinball games created using this exact asset and all of these games appear to have implemented their own custom designs for the tables though I can't really vouch for the quality of these games. Pixart's Pinball Frenzy on the other hand has received zero creative input from its so-called developer which by now comes as no surprise and is in fact being created using the two demo tables which come pre-packed with the asset. The first being a seaside themed one complete with an octopus and starfish and the second a Mexican Day of the Dead themed one containing a sombrero wearing skeleton and a sugar skull. Now while searching for a demo for the asset I actually stumbled across a Google Play title called Flipper Pinball. 3D and wouldn't you know it this one's actually Pixar's mobile version of the game which is free to download and contains both the seaside and the day of the dead tables. If you're planning on trying this one out though be warned as there's about a million fucking ads that come with it which play before you even get to start a table or whenever you lose all of your balls and try and play again. Now there's nothing particularly special about these two tables, the visuals look ok and the sound effects are pretty standard, but in terms of gameplay the mechanics of each table are extremely simple, which is to be expected considering the demo tables designed to teach people how to create their own tables and were never actually supposed to be published as full games. As usual though, Pixart's publisher demo try to charge people a few quid for it and Nintendo just stand by and don't really give a shit, so just another day for the Switch eShop. Now I've just pushed out another update from the Asset Flip database which you'll find linked down below and so far we're up to 18 new flips on the eShop since the start of the year and the 11th of February so make sure to check that out to find out more about the games that you should be avoiding. This year is on track to be the worst year yet for asset flips though, with GameTree being the new kids on the block, and if you want to see just how bad last year was for them, be sure to check out my eShop asset flips how big is the problem video also linked down below. So I'll no doubt be back soon with another asset flip warning video, but if this one helped you out, show your appreciation by hitting that like button and consider sharing the video to get the word out. If you also want to help me out in the fight against asset flips, you can let me know about any of your spot either with a comment, by email or by joining my discord server. For now though, I just want to thank you all once again for watching and until next time, take care of yourselves and game on.